Yo, it's Brian here. Today, talking about the San Francisco 49ers. In this one, going to be talking about the 49ers having a problem, just a plethora of issues that they have with the team in general. Why they're 2-2. Two and two. Are they going to recover from this? Will they have that Super Bowl hangover, that daunting thing that I keep making fun of the Rams of? Man, I can't believe Karma's going to hit me back soon, maybe. Hopefully not. It's looking like it, if they're not going to improve anytime soon. I was going to have my edge video out for the game against the Miami Dolphins today, but I'm going to be holding that off for a couple of days because I want to see Jimmy G status for this matchup. I think we'll have the results maybe by Wednesday. Kyle Shanahan said that he doesn't know yet until two days of practice. We'll see then. Yeah, he's the big factor as we all know after watching the Sunday night game against the Philadelphia Eagles. I don't even know how we lost to them. Sure, we were beat up, but they were beat up even more. I mean, we had some guys that I never even heard of in my life that did really well for them. It is what it is. We lost the game. Can't complain about it. We just got to move on from it. That game just proves that we need Jimmy G back. All you guys that were saying Nick Mullins is the future of this team. Well, tough luck with that. And even then, CJ Beathard, he had a pretty good performance, I thought. We always ridicule him for the past couple of years, including myself. I did a lot of that. I'm just, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. I was pretty upset, pretty unhappy, pretty annoyed after the game. I mean, off camera, it was pretty bad. I was not happy for the rest of the night. I mean, I made the video yesterday, the reaction video. I was trying to be in the good mood as much as possible. But when you lose that way to that team, yeah, it's not looking good at all. It was pretty pretty bad. That's all I gotta say. But anyways, wanted to talk about this. We'll see where this leads us to. Before I get the video started, as always, please like and subscribe. That's gonna definitely help me out a lot. Click that bell notification to get notified of future videos. Share this channel, share this content with fellow Niner faithfuls. Let's get this started. 49ers, what is the problem with them? Are they gonna have that daunting Super Bowl hangover? What is the problem with the 49ers right now? And they have to fix this kind of stuff before it gets out of hand for the rest of the season. We have a tough schedule along the way. Hopefully they fix it ASAP right now. And some things that I'm seeing that what's wrong with the 49ers this year in particular, not just the quarterback. I'll probably get that in the last segment, but for this one in particular, the offensive line, I think it's been a big problem so far this year, whether it's Jimmy G or Nick Mullins, CJ Beathard, the starting quarterback for this team. I mean, we can blame the quarterbacks all day, all night because they're the leader of the team. They're the ones expected to make plays, but the offensive line has not done them any favors. I've seen sometimes, especially the game against the Eagles, I'm going to be citing that game pretty often. Trent Williams and Mike McGlinchey, they just look so out of place that whole game. I mean, especially McGlinchey. I I don't know what happened to him this year did he get hung over definitely from doing something I, I i don't know because he just got bull run all night last night it looked really terrible williams he can be inconsistent sometimes i mean that guy can like pancake people he can shove people down but then at the same time he can get beat pretty quickly i don't know maybe it's the football rush that he hasn't played in a while still something's wrong with this offensive line i don't know how to fix it to be honest with you because it's pretty much the same o-line for the most part from last year it's no significant changes the only one that changed was the left tackle position you know williams he's replacing joe staley but williams he's a all pro pro bowler lineman it's not like they're, they're just replacing it with some scrub this is a pretty good offensive lineman of a tackle but for some reason it's not really working right now but hopefully it works out in the next couple of weeks you know maybe it's just the early on in the season no preseason or anything like that but come on we're four weeks into the season i think that's enough football to try to get acclimated to playing football again so far no success mullins for all the quirks that he did yesterday night against the eagles for all the interception turnovers and everything like that the offensive line did not do him any favors most of the blame should go to mullins yesterday but at the same time you have to look at how the offensive line was playing it was not playing really well he didn't really have a lot of time to throw the ball another thing to look at is the running game they didn't get the running game going mckinnon jeff wilson jr struggled pretty much all night they were able to contain them because the offensive line wasn't doing their job that's a really big part of kyle shanahan's offense you can't run the ball it's gonna be pretty hard out there unless you have jimmy g i mean jimmy as much as we love to criticize him for his turnovers and being a little bit crazy with the ball sometimes i think with him being the playmaker that's the one thing i like about jimmy out of all the quarterbacks that we have on our roster right now is he's a playmaker he'll take risk yeah, sometimes he'll piss you off, but at the same time, a lot of the times, he can make plays and it'll make you really, really happy. That's what I'm looking forward to, Jimmy G coming back. I miss him so much, and I'm pretty sure after this game against the Eagles, everyone wants him back to being starting quarterback for the 49ers. No more quarterback controversy. Kyle Shanahan is, is hoping that Jimmy's going to be healthy. We're all hoping he's going to be healthy. It's hard to make the edge video right now if I don't know if he's going to be healthy or not because he is going to be a big X factor if he can play this Sunday against the Miami Dolphins. Offensive line, they need to get a lot of things going for much of the quarterback's issues. There's a lot of issues with the offensive line as well. They got to get it fixed really fast. One thing they're looking for in the defense is definitely against mobile quarterbacks. 
quarterbacks. We've just been having problems facing mobile quarterbacks for the past year or two now. I don't know what's going on with them. I mean, they can stop the run. They can stop the pass, but they can't stop mobile quarterbacks. I mean, you look at some examples this year in particular. Week one against Kyler Murray, he was running around all day. He had like over 100 yards, I think, of rushing just by himself. Carson Wentz, he was able to extend some plays, th- make some nice passes, also rush for a touchdown. They are not really good at controlling the lanes with the quarterbacks. I don't know what's going on with them in particular, but, you know, sometimes it is unavoidable like Murray, but, I mean, having Carson Wentz, he's mobile, but he's not the most mobile guy like a Russell Wilson type player. It's been pretty difficult to watch them play, not just this year, but also last year as well on containing mobile quarterbacks. They got to fix that some way, shape, or form. I don't know how you fix that. I mean, shoot, I'm not a coach. They got to figure out what kind of personnel to do in order to stop the quarterback. A lot of times when they try to do like RPO, whatever you want to call it, run pass option, for the other team, they get kind of confused because I've seen Armstead in the defensive line. They get the wrong guy. They'll snap the ball to the running back or the quarterback, but then they'll get the wrong guy. They really got to do a better job at that. It's been pretty hard for mobile quarterbacks, and we got to face a couple of mobile quarterbacks, I think, for the next couple of weeks, potentially. I mean, Jared Goff, he's not the most mobile quarterback, but he can roll out of the pocket a little bit. The New England Patriots, Cam Newton, if assuming that he's able to play. He's a mobile quarterback. Then we got to play Russell Wilson. We got to play Aaron Rodgers. Man, that's going to be really tough. They had to get that on point, and hopefully they do. So far, it's not looking really encouraging. They really got to get it going. I know the injuries are very bad. Losing Nick Bosa definitely hurts a lot. Yes, it hurts a ton, but you got to work through it. Hopefully they do. It's going to be really tough from this point forward. And any other problems with this team? There's quite a plethora, but I think those two are really the ones I wanted to highlight in this video in particular with the offensive line needing more help. Defensive line, they need to really contain the quarterback as much as possible, especially mobile quarterbacks. The quarterbacks in particular, like Jimmy G and Nick Mullins, decision making, I think for every quarterback in our roster, they need to improve decision making. I mean, Jimmy G, he can make some nice plays, but he can also make some bonehead plays. Mullins, I mean, you saw what he does when he has a terrible offensive line. Wow, that pick six was just absolutely demoralizing. I almost wanted to turn off the TV to be honest with you but luckily I didn't CJ almost made a comeback and I was a little bit happy towards that but at the end of the game I was just fuming all night it was not fun to watch that's really the thing I gotta look forward to for the quarterback just not holding the ball on too long and also decision making and if they could do that then I think they could have a better campaign for the rest of the year I mean it's only four weeks in the season we still have a lot of football to go with the way the NFC West is being stacked right now it's gonna be really difficult to get that NFC West title we're really behind right now we got to run the table to be honest with you but I don't think that's going to be happening because that's really tough. We have a very, very tough schedule for the next couple of weeks. I don't know. We might lose one of those games. They got to keep fighting. And that's all I can believe in. And hopefully they don't suffer that Super Bowl hangover. The one I make fun of the Rams of quite a bit. That's pretty much it, you guys. Please let me know what you guys think about the 49ers' problems right now. What do you think is the biggest problem so far for this team? And what do you need to fix? I like what you guys say in the comments below. If you guys like this, please like and subscribe. That's going to help me out a lot. I'll be catching you guys up probably tomorrow on a Tuesday when I do my predictions. I'll see y'all then. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Y'all have a great rest of your night. Go Niners all day.